Free trade allows consumers to buy superior goods at lower prices. So why do free trade negotiations often run into trouble? Are regional trade agreements the way forward? Under the heading of Free Trade and Prosperity, the 13th Munich Economic Summit focused on providing answers to these and many other questions. The conference was hosted by Michael Schäfer, Board Chairman of the BMW Foundation Herbert Quand, and IFO President Hans Werner Zinn. The summit's opening panel focused on post-Bali perspectives for free trade. Mukisa Kituyi, Secretary General of UNCTAD, agreed that regional deals may complement multilateral agreements, but should not be allowed to replace them. So we must not let the pragmatic side that drives mega-regional negotiations destroy the essence of the collective good, which can only be dealt with multilaterally. The second panel focused on boosting transatlantic trade. Participants discussed what North America and Europe stand to gain and possibly lose from TTIP. Gabriel Felbermeyer, head of the IFO Center for International Economics, stressed that reaching an agreement on TTIP is worth the effort. The question always is, if there are risks, and I guess there are, are the gains big enough? And I would like to make the case that yes, there is a big fruit that's hanging there. It may be hard to pick, but it is a big, juicy fruit, and it's worth the effort uh, to get that fruit picked. The final panel of the summit looked at how Europe can enhance its trade ties with the dynamic BRICS economies. The highly international panel featured speakers from India, Canada and Hong Kong. Its chair, Katinka Barish, summarizes the discussion like this. For me, what was very striking was the debate between the Europeans and the Americans in the room and those coming from emerging markets here, in particular represented by India and China. Whereas we in Europe are obsessed uh, by the deal that we're negotiating with the Americans, the TTIP deal, um, the Chinese in particular say, why are you leaving us out of this? Why are you excluding us? Is this against us? A very big issue and we haven't even begun began to unravel it. William Zhang, chief executive officer of the China Elderly Foundation, warned that building consensus among BRICS means involving them in negotiations from the very beginning. And also I think this kind of platform could be provide people with the right vision, give the people the right place to discuss and uh, how to find the uh, convergence of interests instead of uh, uh, disputes all the time. So if we are lucky enough, we can find uh, some uh, ways to establish a sort of a community of interest. I think that's a way to solve the problem nowadays. Many conference guests, like Paul O'Donovan, see free trade as a key economic issue that does not receive enough serious media attention. I think it's, a, it's a, a very good idea to be focusing on an issue like uh, free trade. It's something which doesn't get enough airplay, I think, in the media conventionally. And even actually within financial circles, within corporate circles, free trade is it's complex and nobody can be bothered to wade through the 800 pages of the TTIP negotiation documentation. Conferences like this, I think, raise the issues up on the agenda. It reminds us that this is something we need to be focusing on. Michael Schaefer concluded the conference by stressing the need for a WTO that truly takes into account asymmetrical developments among its members. A transformed WTO could play a key role in creating a global system with the highest possible standards.